Okay, I am Giuseppe Manco from the Institute of High Performance Computing and Networks of the National Research Council of Italy. I'm a senior researcher there, and uh, uh, my background is essentially on machine learning and uh, uh, data mining, and I work on probabilistic modeling, probabilistic graphical models with applications on recommender systems and social network analysis with special emphasis on information diffusion. Nice. So these are the main areas of research where I'm interested in, and uh, well, essentially, okay, I mean, I think the most interesting part, uh, according to me, the most interesting part is how, combine, how, how to combine uh, symbolic AI, AI with, uh, let's say, differentiable AI. And uh, I mean, this is essentially useful because uh, there are some aspects which I'm trying to model within, within my research. Uh, let's say, for example, trying to provide a recommender system, which is uh, a better impact, let's say, trying to provide novel stuff to people, you know, or diverse stuff. Uh, uh, let's try, for example, to, uh, to say uh, on Spotify, I want to try new things. Or Netflix, I want, to, I want to get a suggestion about a movie that I wasn't even aware of, that uh, it's totally surprising to me and that, that I most, more, more likely I would like. So this essentially means, uh, in my opinion, trying to inject kind of constraints, kind of, uh, you know, um, new ways of providing this recommendation, trying to avoid to be repetitive on, or uh, trivial in a sense. And uh, uh, it seems to me that this has to most, mostly to do with intelligence, with a way of uh, trying to encode uh, background knowledge about uh, what you can do and what you would like to, 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 to express, and uh, also trying to inject this into the machine learning system and machine learning algorithms. So this is basically my personal view of how human-centric AI can uh, can, can, can contribute in, uh, into the development of, of the field. Yes, the, 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 the basically, essentially, the idea that you can, uh, in a sense, encode the, 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 the feelings, the, uh, uh, the, the, the feelings, the emotions, the, 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 the whatever you can uh, model about human, human being, and try to uh, uh, directly model it within the machine learning algorithms, within the artificial intelligence, with, with what artificial intelligence can deliver back to humans. Cool. So in a sense, it's a, a two ways uh, interaction. You, you, you would like to, to get the most that you can, and on, in the same time, you can deliver the results that can be uh, very, very well uh, exploitable for, for people. Well, uh, it is very well related. Once again, I would like to uh, to to have the possibility to to, to devise algorithms and methods that are able to enhance user experience. I mean, I I am fortunate enough to live in a world where uh, we have we are all connected people. We use mobile phones, so we, we, we can do things that we could could not do ten years ago. Let's say, for example, I come to Paris, and uh, I have my mobile phone, and uh, I I can find the spot where the workshop is, or I. Can move from the from the station to the airport or whatever to the to the hotel. Uh, I mean, this is also announcing your, This is essentially announcing user experience. So uh, it would be very nice if we could proceed further, and uh, let let's say deliver people with uh, with stuff that people don't even know they need. This is this is my blue sky project in a sense. Fantastic.